My name is Clapton Mavunga. I am an assistant professor at MIT and Carson Fellow at the Racho Carson Center. My broad research topic uh, at present focuses on incoming technology and African innovation. I'm trained in uh, science and technology studies and African history. So it's a historical approach, but one in which I want to talk about issues of knowledge production, particularly scientific knowledge production on the one hand, and issues of uh, technology. The reason why I do this is because uh, scholars of Africa have often evaded both issues, uh, particularly technology. And it raises questions, uh, specifically, does it mean this silence, does it mean that Africa had no uh, that or doesn't have any technology to talk about? Which is a critical question to ask because of the persistent negative Im image of Africa as a continent in crisis. With respect to guns and the environment, I think when we talk about the environment, sometimes we don't talk about technology. And when we talk about technologies like guns, we rush to think about them in the context of their political uses, the violence they cause on humanity, the violence they cause on and, and trigger these um, mass dispersals of people, like refugees, humanitarian crises, and so on and so forth. But I think we don't pause to think of what the, the, of these technologies as uh, engaged in a larger interspecies war between humanity and other species. So one of the things that I, I, I wanted to highlight is that broader dimension. But within the uh, context of technology and innovation in Africa, the reason why I titled uh, my uh, research agenda at the Rachel Carson Center, Incoming uh, Traveling Technologies or Incoming Technologies and Local Innovation, is precisely that we have seen a trend which is now only peaking with the use of the mobile phone. A trend where the most exciting innovations that are taking place in Africa today are with respect to how technologies from outside are being deliberately imported, not being re just received, but deliberately being imported and being assigned roles, roles that are designed for them by Africans. And so what we are seeing, therefore, is a second tier of design. There is the design in the laboratory where you design a gadget for the user. But the larger script is the design of a purpose for something that is coming in, is something that is plugging in to a puzzle, a crossword puzzle assembled locally. A crossword puzzle of purposes, uh, but that just need where you have identified many other local inputs, you are left with gaps and you are saying what's quickest? To make something from, a, from, from scratch or to actually import it from outside? And people find it easier to then import something from outside rather than starting from scratch and they plug it in. Now the question then becomes, is that a sign of inadequacy, a sign of lack of innovation, uh, or is it actually the very essence of it? It's important because Africans are traveling. I'm an African who is traveling. I'm abroad. We are traveling, we are seeing. And we are also bringing back things to Africa, innovations. And so one reason why I become very interested in how people are moving about, how uh, these uh, technologies are traveling about, is precisely that I think at the intersections of these two movements, the outside movement of Africans into the, the diaspora and the incoming movement of technologies into Africa, I think at that intersection lies the future of Africa. I think that's where it, it, it will be defined somehow.